so reasonable for a good pair of jeans. I hate those kind of trainers, they are so ugly. I think they're a nice fit, nice colour. Yeah, good one from Zara. Hi, I'm Jess. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you as ever for joining us. So this edition, we're testing mom jeans and we've searched the high street to find the very best pairs we could find. Let's take a look. So we can really compare all the different styles of jeans. I'm gonna keep the same body on for each different outfit, just before you think I'm obsessed with this body, wearing it with everything. So obviously one of the big trends that we're seeing coming through for spring, summer 19 is the 90s trend. So love it or hate it, we're gonna see loads of bodies coming back. Mom jeans, 90s jeans, acid wash. It's all coming back whether we like it or not, but we personally think there's a nice way to wear it. And it's just a matter of searching the high street all the designers to find that perfect fit which hopefully we have. So first up it's ASOS and this is their own brand of high-waisted mom jeans. Now I really like this pair, one because I think the colour is that classic kind of wash which is quite nice, quite flattering kind of tone of blue, but also the jeans feel like they've got a bit of elastin in them, so they're not quite so stiff as some of the other pairs that we found on the high street. So obviously you've got quite a high waist, we've got a zip and bottom detail here. Feels quite nice with this high waist at the back, it's sitting nicely, I think it's quite flattering over the tummy area. The leg is quite tapered and slim, comes down to sort of mid ankle, which I think is quite a nice length actually, it's quite flattering. These were £32 if I remember rightly off the top of my head. So, so reasonable for a good pair of jeans that are particularly on trend for this season. I don't think you can really go wrong with ASOS own. So next up we headed to one of our favourite high street stores and other stories and found this gorgeous mid-rise pair in grey. Obviously the difference with these is that they're mid instead of the high waist so that I've just been trying on. But I really like that, I think it's sitting very nicely, it's quite flattering the kind of level that it's coming to. You've got buttons all the way up here. Still very much a mom jean, just not quite as high as the ones before. So the nice thing with this pair of course is the colour, it's a really really nice tone of grey, really lovely wash just a little bit different, didn't see many in grey actually on the high street and other stories seem to do jeans really really well, they've got some really nice pairs on there at the moment actually so it's always worth having a look at their different selection particularly when you're looking for mom jeans because they seem to do that style really really well. Now the leg is quite straight and you've got a bit of a frayed hem there which is quite a nice detail, again just something a little bit different, put it with a simple pair of trainers. These would look quite nice with a pair of boots actually, sort of dress it up a bit more, sort of French 90s, maybe a jumper kind of tucked in. For me personally, £59 is really reasonable to find a good pair of fitting jeans. I really like those, I like the fit, I like the colour. Another great pair from And Other Stories. The next pair came from ASOS and they are by Monkey. Now I wanted to find a pair in black because I thought it'd be nice as a contrast to all the different blues that I'd got, but the fit of these is not brilliant if I'm honest with you. It's kind of gaping here at the back so it's not sitting as perfectly as it was when I tried on the ones before from ASOS. You can't pull it down to make it sit better because then it's not mom jeans or you know particularly 90s. I don't really like the feel of the denim if I'm honest. It's too thick, it feels like cardboard. There's not really much movement in it at all. It feels a bit stiff. I, I don't like the shape of them. I think they're described as kind of a balloon leg rather than the slim leg. And for me, I think that's so unflattering. I just don't like it whatsoever. Maybe if you are a couple of sizes smaller than me, they might work. Maybe you just have to be really skinny to kind of pull those ones off, which is a shame really, because I did want to find a nice black pair but I don't think these are it, to be honest. Sorry. Now, 
I think this next pair is a bit of a love it or hate it kind of pair of jeans. Personally for me, I love them. I think they are very on trend for this spring summer. I love the acid wash. I think it looks really 90s, obviously. But then I think that's one of the huge trends. And if there was a simple way to follow the trends for this spring summer, it would be to have a pair of acid wash jeans. Charlotte, on the other hand, is not so keen on these. So I think it's just one of those. It's gonna be a bit of a Marmite pair of jeans. And to be honest with you, when I was shopping online and found them on their website, I was taking a bit of a risk because I'm thinking, I'm not sure how they're gonna look on me at all. And in actual fact, in terms of fit, the shape of them and the color, they really surprised me. I liked them a lot more than I thought I would. These feel a little bit softer, definitely softer from the last pair that I had on, which came from ASOS. So these, again, must have a little bit of elastin like the first ASOS pair. Quite high-waisted, again. So nice, tapered, slim leg that I've just done a bit of a turn-up with. Pair of white trainers, and I think that kind of makes it very casual for day wear. You could wear some of those big, chunky, um, very 90s trainers that we're seeing loads of, but You'll never see me in them because I hate them. I hate those kind of trainers. They are so ugly, I just can't ever wear them. So a pair of Golden Gooses or some Crime London, something a bit more simple, I think is my perfect way to kind of style them. So yes, really impressed with this pair that came from New Look. I think they were the most surprising out of all the pairs that I bought. The fact that I really liked them once I'd got them on compared to how they looked in the pictures. So next up, I went back to ASOS again and got this pair from Reclaimed Vintage. The first thing I will say about these is that I think I need to size up. They're a little bit too tight for me. Everything I've bought so far has been a UK 10 or a size 28 jean um, and 32 leg I normally go for as well. But these, I'd say, I feel like they're just a tiny bit too tight. I really like the colour. Um, it's kind of like that mid stone wash, so a little bit lighter than the other stone wash we had before. The leg is really nice, it's a lovely shape to the leg, quite tapered, quite slim, cropping kind of by the ankle, which is nice. It does seem to come up quite nicely around the tummy and the high waist here at the back. I'm just feeling a little bit tight here, it's just a little bit too short for me. But I do like Reclaim Vintage, I think they've got some really cool stuff on there on ASOS. And maybe it's just my strange long body that's making that feel a bit awkward there. But it's a shame really, because I love the colour, I really do like that, it's really reasonable on price. It's just feeling a tiny bit too tight, I'd say. So last but not least is this pair of mom jeans that I found on Zara's website. Now these are the lightest ones out of all the jeans that I've tried and I really love that colour. I think it's a really nice light stone wash. Fit is nice, um, it's coming probably about the same kind of height as all the others, apart from that mid-rise one from Stories. They're a good fit, actually. I'd say they're probably true to size UK 10, I think I bought. So they're 100% cotton again, but unlike the ones that came from Monkey, which were feeling too stiff, too hard and cardboard-like, these don't feel like that. These are a bit softer. They're more stiffer than the ones from ASOS, but they're not as stiff as the monkey ones, if that makes sense. As a mom jean, I think they're a really nice pair. $25.99, really, really reasonable on the money as well. Yeah, I think they're a nice fit, nice color. Yeah, good one from Zara. So that's it, hopefully you enjoyed this edition of us testing the best pairs of mom jeans out there. I think my favourites would be the ASOS own brand jeans, simply because I liked a bit of elastin that they had in them and they were a nice colour of stone wash. I love the pair from And Other Stories because I think it's a really nice tone of grey and they were just a little bit different to anything else I'd seen. And of course I really loved the acid wash jeans from New Look, I mean they were really over the top, it's full on acid wash tastic. But I do think if you're going to do it, then you may as well embrace it to the max. So hopefully we gave you a bit of inspiration of the best pairs that we found out there. Everything's linked in the description below for your convenience. If you want to use them, you don't have to. Keep an eye on our channel and make sure you subscribe if you don't already. We'll make this a series, actually, of testing products. And let us know in the comments section what you want us to test. I mean, we've chosen jeans today because it was particularly something that's 
on trend for this spring summer. But if there's something you want us to test, do put it in the comments section below and we shall work our way through them all. Thanks again for watching. Take care.